Hey everyone, it's Bernie over at The Woolly Bee. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making my latest cardigan and I've chosen to give her a name in honor of my friend and crochet buddy, Anastasia Dietrich. Thank you so much for gifting me the gorgeous yarn I used to create my own plus size cardigan. I cannot thank you enough, Anna, for your kindness. So let's get to making this lovely Anna triple thread cardigan. For this project you will need to know chain stitches, single crochet and triple or then triple crochet stitches. You will need to take a few measurements and I am uh, adding uh, pictures of what I mean. Uh, you'll need to measure around your bust area underneath the breast and then you'll need to measure from the top of your shoulder down directly underneath your bust. Um, those will be the measurements to get us started on our back panel. So go ahead, let's do that. Check in the description box below for all the um, yarn and tools that I used. You can use any weight yarn um, because you'll be customizing your cardigan to your size. So with that said, check out the um, materials needed in the description box below and then come back with your hooks and yarn and let's make this lovely cardigan. Hi guys, so if you are ready, the yarn I'm going to be using, and again as always I'm making a sample piece because you'll be working to your measurement specifications, so I hope you have those ready. Um, the yarn I'm using for my sample piece is a yarn by Kismet Yarns, it's called a... What is the 67 Blankets for Mandela Day yarn and the color is Candy Crush. It is 100% acrylic, 300 grams and 750 meters in this huge uh, skein of yarn. I love the colors. So let's get started. I am going to be making a slip knot. Let me just find my finger cozy. A slip knot. So with the measurements you have for the circumference area around your back and bust, you need to divide that in two to get your starting chain so that we can then start with our back panel. Um, and then you'll need the measurements uh, from the top of your shoulder to directly underneath the bust and that will be the height of the back panel that we'll be making. So let's start with uh, chaining up a length, a length for the back of your uh, of your body. So for my sample piece I'm going to try to just keep things even so I'm just going to put on an even number of uh, let's say 50 and go from there. Do go ahead and chain up the length that you need. Try to keep your stitch count to an even number um, and then chain an extra one uh, to use as your ch uh, turning chain and then I will meet you once you have your starting length. Okay guys, I have my chain length of 51. I added the extra one to do the uh, turning chain. So in the next uh, stitch, in the next chain from the hook, we're going to be working in the back bump of the chain length. We're going to f do our first single crochet for this row. And that is all you're going to be doing for the starting um row of our back panel simply single crochet to whatever the length is that you have I'm hoping that you have a nice even number now I will be having uh, or I will have 50 stitches at the end of my chain length which is where I will meet you and we will then start with our second row okay I am at the end of my first row I have 50 single crochet stitches I'm going to chain one and turn my work and in the very first stitch I'm going to place a single crochet and I'm going to ask you to please try to do the stack single crochet with me it's simply going to make the garment that we'll be making um, 
the seaming up and the joining of different panels and sections it's just going to make things so much easier for you so in that first single crochet in this front loop here not this back V in the front loop place your hook through there grab your yarn and complete a second single crochet that is now counting as a double crochet but the stitch that we are using for this garment is a triple crochet so we're going to stack another single crochet there so in that front loop grab your yarn and do another single crochet so now we will have one two three single crochets stacked on top of each other and that will be the first of our triple crochets for the second row so for triple crochet yarn over twice place your hook through the stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the last two hoops let's do that again yarn over twice place your hook through your next stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the last two and that will be the triple crochet that we'll be using for the entirety of this uh, cardigan so for your second row this is the only stitch you'll need to know your next row is going to be a row of simple single crochet the next row will be triple crochet this is all we're going to be doing for your back panel until you reach the height requirement for your specific cardigan be it small large mid, whatever the size you need to just work from where you measured under your bust area to the top of the shoulder that is the height requirement we'll be working um, over the shoulder for our front panels and uh, it's going to be odd because this is how we'll be working we're simply going to work our back panel from here not from down at the buttock section from here from the middle of our back over our shoulder to directly under the bust this is what we are working on currently once we reach the uh, uh, bust section in the front for our one front panel we're going to join and attach to do the other front panel and then we're going to come back and join the entire cardigan and work down towards the buttock area to create the length that we need so don't worry about these things everything's going to work out perfectly just be in mind we are only working on this midsection from the middle of the back over the shoulder to the uh, bust area so let's go ahead and do that you'll be working up your chain I'm going to uh, finish up this row with you so with your triple crochet continue for whatever the stitch count is that you have I will meet you at the end of this row where we will chain up one turn our work and start on our next single crochet row I am at the end of my uh, row I have my 50 triple crochet stitches I'm going to chain one turn the work and I'm going to head back down for 50 more stitches of single crochet only so do go ahead and do that for this next row when we get to the end of the row we're going to chain one I'm going to start that row with you again with our stack single crochet in order to make our first triple crochet and then you will finish up that row so let me meet you there I'm at the end of my row I'm going to chain one and turn the work and then we're going to stack some single crochet on top of each other so in the first stitch place your first single crochet into that little front loop place your hook through there grab your yarn do a second single crochet and then let's stack a third one on top and this will count as our first triple crochet so for the next row and every alternate row after this one it will be yarn over twice place your hook through your stitch and create your second triple crochet do this for the whole of this row 
turn your work start with your next row of single crochet and again do this for however high you need your back panel to be from your midsection up to the top of your shoulder whether that was 10 inches 8 inches 12 inches whatever that measurement was um, go ahead and finish up this section and we will meet each other once you reach the top of your shoulder um, we're only working from year till year remember so let's meet up once you've completed your uh, back section so that we can start on our first front panel so go ahead finish up your rows I think I'm gonna be doing maybe six rows of the triple crochet and then I will meet up with you once again okay guys I have finished up six rows of the triple crochet but I want to finish the section on a row of single crochet so I'm going to chain one turn my work and then just very quickly do a row of single crochet because we want to attach the front panel on the right side of the work so once you've reached your measurement uh, for however high you want you needed that uh, section to be uh, please finish on a row of single crochet and then come back and let's start with our first front panel Okay, I finished my row of single crochet. I've chained one and I am ready to start with my triple crochet for my front panel. Um, now, let us quickly do a bit of math. I know I have 50 stitches. I want to uh, take 10 away from there and sort of put that in the bank. And I'm going to be working with the 40 that we have left. So, our front panel, um, whatever your uh, total was for your chain length, minus 10 from there, keep that aside. And then the total you have left, divide that in two and then count from here to whatever that amount of stitches was. So for me, that is 50 minus 10. I have 40 left, so I need 20 stitches for my first front panel. And that's all I'm going to be marking. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 20. So I want to work till there. And you can go ahead, count your 10 that we've uh, taken off there in the beginning. Because we won't be working the 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10. those 10 stitches are going to be left open this will be our neckline uh, we won't be working in there we'll be doing this panel then later on once we've completed this panel to the exact same measurement length of your back panel we'll uh, finish that off and we'll come back and we'll join in the last section to complete that front panel so I should have 20 left you should have left um, the same amount of stitches that you have for this panel uh, minus your 10 you should have the same amount of stitches left for your second panel so for me that should be 20 2 4 6 8 10 2 4 6 8 10 I've got my 20 so go ahead and uh, just uh, mark your panel and then let's start on our front panel so I'll be starting with my first single crochet I'll stack another one on top and a third one on top for my first triple crochet and then I'm going to be crochet, uh, <laughs> crocheting my 20 triple crochet stitches for my front panel of the sample piece and you'll be doing the amount that is needed for your first front panel so go ahead and do that let's meet at the end of the section don't go beyond your marker wait for me at the end there I have my 20 triple crochet and I'm going to go ahead and remove that marker because I'll be chaining one and turning my work and I'll be finishing this right panel with the exact same amount of rows that I have on my back panel so for me in this case it was six rows of the triple crochet I'm going to go ahead finish up this front panel ending with a row of single crochet uh, which is where I'm going to meet you next so after you've chained one you're simply going to single crochet back along this row uh, for your front panel 
finish up with however many rows of triple crochet you need to do so that it measures the exact same length as your back panel and then we will meet for that last row of single crochet to finish off this section and then we'll join um, our yarn to start our other front panel so let's meet up there see you guys soon right guys i'm back and i have finished my six rows of triple crochet for my front panel and when i flip it over it's the exact same measurement as my back panel and what i want to do now is simply finish off this section with a row of single crochet i've already chained up one turned my work and i'm just working this row of single crochet right down I'm just going to snip off my yarn here and pull that through and that is our first panel finished so we're going to be joining in yarn for our second panel oh, my yarn And we want to join again on the right side of the work so this is the wrong side you can tell that by the look of the stitches this is the wrong side of the work when you flip it over this is the way the stitches should look so I'm just gonna be working um, this way joining in our stitch marker to mark the first of the for me the next 20 stitches for the next panel remember the 10 stitches we left in the midsection here that is for the neckline so we're not working in there let's just make sure that we have 20 2 4 6 8 10 2 4 6 8 and 10 so i'll be joining in here for the first of my next panels 20 double crochet and I'll be joining uh, I'll be making a slip knot I'm just going to be doing a single crochet in the first stitch for the start of my stacks a uh, single crochet to form my first triple crochet so heading back in for my second single crochet and stacking my third single crochet on top and that'll be my first triple crochet so yarning over twice i am going to complete this row of 20 stitches for me you need to complete the number of stitches for your second front panel which would be the same as your first of course don't forget leave the 10 stitches open in the middle there complete this panel don't cut off your yarn at the end of this panel because we'll be joining the cardigan to work in the round so let's meet at the end of my six rows you need to continue for however many rows you made your uh, front panel and we will meet up once again there i'm back I have finished my row of single crochet and I've uh, chained one and turned my work and we want to be working on the right side of the work once again so right panel finished left panel finished and we are going to start um, and we're going to be joining front panel to the back panel on both sides and we will start with our stacked single crochet for our first triple crochet once again work uh, to the end of your panel don't work into the last stitch i'm going to meet you there um, because that's how we're going to be joining um, the front panel to the back so don't work into the last stitch just carry on with your triple crochet to the end of the row uh, stop at your second last stitch and i will meet you there I am at my last stitch I'm going to yarn over twice place my hook through that last stitch 
find the first stitch on the back panel and just turn it towards you like so place your hook through that first stitch as well grab the yarn pull through that first stitch pull through the last stitch on the front panel and then complete your triple crochet I'm going to show you again that's just joining the two panels I'm going to just pull out and do that again for you yarn over twice insert your hook don't yarn over insert your hook into the uh, first stitch of the back panel with the right side facing you then grab your yarn pull through that first stitch pull the yarn through your last stitch on the front panel that's essentially joining the two and complete your triple crochet yarn over twice and again into that first stitch of the back panel that is now joined to your front panel place a triple crochet stitch there and that is how we'll be joining the two panels so i'm gonna go ahead and do my triple crochet around the back panel and then i'll meet you when we are ready to join the other front panel to the back panel so go ahead work your triple crochet we'll meet up at the other panel and we will join uh, that one together as well Oh, I did forget to mention that for the back panel you are now working into your starting chain and if you find it difficult to get your hook through those uh, chain stitches I am working with a 4.5 millimeter go ahead and switch to a smaller hook size so I'm going to switch to my 4 millimeter just for the back panel just to be able to get through the chain stitches it's not going to alter the work in any way so continue with your it's just going to make it easier to slip through those chain stitches um, because we'll be doing another row um, over this one and we'll once we join into the other front panel we're switching back over to our uh, four and a half or whichever hook size you are using just go down by a half a hook size just to get through those initial chain stitches um, yeah without much difficulty they are working very well there's not much difference in the stitch sizes this was made with the four and a half these are made with the four and there's not much difference in uh, so don't worry too much that it will alter the look of the cardigan at all you really won't notice anything go ahead with your triple crochet to the end of your row again stopping um, just before we meet up with that last stitch so that we can join the other front panel together okay i am at my last stitch i'm yarning over twice placing my hook through the last stitch not grabbing my yarn but finding my front panel and turning the right side of the work to me Finding the first stitch, don't worry about the ends, we will weave them in soon enough. Placing my hook through that first stitch and then grabbing the yarn, pulling it through both the stitches, the last stitch on the back panel and the first stitch on the front panel and completing that triple crochet. I have now switched back over to my four and a half millimeter and I'm yarning over twice um, and then I will be inserting into the first stitch of the front panel once again to do my first uh, triple crochet of the front panel and then finishing up this row let's meet again at the end of the this row for the front panel and then we'll be working back the other way <laughs> 